Hello friends, many of you have heard about Magento 2 PWL Studio and as well as Venia concept. In this video, I will explain how to install it and run your local environment. And let's start from stack. I use VirtualBox, which have all my Magento environment and also I have my Windows uh, development environment. Before we start to stuff, we need to complete some prerequisites. We need to install Node.js at least version 10.14.1. If you have Node.js 10, more than 10 major version 10, it will not work. So you may want to check uh, which one you have and install the right version. The last one as this video was 10.18.0. We also need to install Yarn. It's uh, pretty easy to install and comes for any Linux-based distributor. We need to install Python tools and Magenta has link. Thanks for it for installation. How to do it with when you have npm, npm already. And as well, you need to have um, Magenta 2.3.1 or above in order to get it. So in my case, I have Magenta 2.3.3 and it's installed at the domain local.mh23g.com and domain name and IP is 192.168.1.11. So once you completed it, you may <clears throat> you can make a new folder and clone Magenta PW Studio repository in there. So in my case, I have its public HTML PW2. Let's so once we clone it, oof, we go to PW Studio and we have all PW configuration here. So the next step, it's installing Yarn dependencies. So let's run it, and it will just install anything what Magenta missed in order to run PWU Studio. It shows some warnings, but it's not actual issues in this case. These warnings may be removed once there will be next version of Yarn. So it takes some time to get all files and it builds in fresh packages. Yeah, we definitely need fresh packages. Also, it's uh, mandatory that you need to install Venia demo files in your Magenta installation. In my case, I have Magenta at the different folder. It's uh, home Sasha's public HTML Magenta Mac 233. So once you have Yarn installed, the next step will be to generate a SSL certificate. And also, so let me, yeah, Venia sample data. So over there at the PWA folder, there will be a sample data installation file. We need to copy this file to your Magenta root folder from packages Venia concept deploy Venia sample data to your Magenta and then execute it. After this, it will install composer packages with sample data. And when we will run bin Magenta setup upgrade, it will install all necessary 
categories, images, products, and other things what we need in order to have something in empty Magenta store. And after we will do index, it will be available. So you want to do it first and verify that you can access your default Magenta Luma theme. As you can see, I will did complete the step and I have it over here. Okay, then next step is configuration file, env file. So we need to modify Magenta backend URL. This backend URL, it's, we can do it, we, we can configure env file. It would be the packages when you concept in V. Over here. Or we can configure it using command line. So the URL would be our, our backend Magenta URL. The same URL where you have your Magenta to store. In my case, it's local match233.com so let me change it here as well okay so the next step is saying about what we need to do to choose our magenta backend so I use Magenta 2.3.3 and in this video I use the latest GitHub uh, clone of the repository so it's compatible. It just may, may, maybe makes sense to check if you use a less of 2.3.1 version uh, in order to, to know what uh, GitHub version of PWA Studio is supported. In some cases, uh, you may run into issue where your local runs with self signature certificate. Then you need to add this line intra packages when you concept in the configuration file. So let's add it because I also use uh, self signature certificate. Also, in order to run and access environment from not from local installs, my local instance where I run Magento Store is VirtualBox, and I need to get access from Windows. I need to change dev server host. The server host it's uh, the host which binded to listen all requests. If you will not change it, it will listen to events only from localhost. In my case, I need to put IP of my virtual machine in order that my request was forwarded. Don't forget to add a Magenta host to your host file. So once we complete this step, we can build make a build of artifacts and we got into issue that we didn't specify brain tree token it's nothing about it in documentation but let's change it as well in our configuration file just simple token but for some reason it couldn't uh, start build without it so what we have here yeah so basically another error what it's saying that it oh it couldn't access my GraphQL in case you will have this error it means that the URL of your Magento backend is not right. 
So, and we're going back to configuration file. And I have, I was missing two in my URL. So as you can see, there are maybe a lot of small challenges to get it up and running. And it's sometimes when it's hard to find out what is exactly it's not right. So in Magenta PWA, when you concept, you have two options. You can build the development instance and production. And I'm sorry, in develop and staging. In staging, you will have all compiled files and serial will run in development. You can still uh, make updates and it will be updated at your website. I mean, JavaScript or other fonts and updates. It will basically watch what you do. So as we can see, we got installation successful. And next step will be to launch the server. And then building development server. It also send you the URL which it will be used for the server. It's the same host URL which we added added into configuration file. After compilation will be complete, we receive a message. Oh, here we go. So PWA dev server is ready. So we can check it and see. Yeah. It works. So the important thing, don't forget to have this IP in your host file, or if you use custom domain name, that it was pointed to IP of the server. I hope you found this video useful, and best of luck in, de in development with PWA. Thank you.